This time two years ago, folks along the Ohio River were dealing with dangerous river levels. News 3's meteorologist John Ross takes a step back in time with local officials who relive the event with a word of advice. I'm here at the Unionville Road floodgate just outside of Brookport. It was closed this time two years ago thanks to rising river levels. Well, Brookport sits a little lower, so of course obviously we have to close the Unionville flood wall. When heavy rain compounded with already high river levels in February of 2019, Massac County braced for major flooding. Lower line roads were in the water. There was few houses endangered. The rivers were already high, but then came the rain. It came in full force, dumping close to double the normal amount of rainfall that month. And then it backs up in the creeks, and then the river backs up, and then the water has nowhere to go. The flooding is, is, is something really hard to deal with. You can deal with snow, you can deal with ice, uh, but there's nothing you can do about that water. I mean, you can remove down trees from a thunderstorm, but when the water decides it's coming up, it's coming up and you can't do much to stop it. Thankfully, we don't see floods like this every year, but they're frequent enough to have a plan of preparation. If you live in the floodplain or near the floodplain, keep an eye on the river levels, know where the water is going to be at, and make your preparations. The flooding in 2019 showed us that events like this aren't necessarily generational floods. The Massac County Emergency Management Agency says as long as you live next to a river, you should be prepared for flooding. Reporting in Massac County, John Ross, News 3 WSIL.